Dear colleagues, this is FECO emulsification of a cataract with corneal opacity. Let's watch the surgical steps. The main incision has been placed. This is a 2.8 millimeter main incision. Now, one side port is being made on the left side of the main incision, about two and a half claw covers away. Now, I want to stain the anterior capsule with tripe and blue dye, so I have injected a big air bubble. I want to stain the anterior capsule underneath this air bubble because if we inject the dye under the air bubble, the dye doesn't get diluted by the aqueous and staining becomes very fast. Now the dye is washed out. If we wash out the dye, you can see the appearance of the anterior capsule. It may be wrinkled, it may be fibrous. We can see it very clearly if we wash it out. And now viscoelastic substance is being used. In this case, I'm going to use modified soft shell technique. This is viscoat from Alcon. This is a combination of chondroitin sulfate and sodium hyaluronate. Underneath this viscoat, this is HPMC, that is hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. So the HPMC has pushed the viscoat up and it is sticking to the corneal endothelium. Now see how I'm doing capsular excess. This is incision of the capsule a nice flap has been raised now i hold this flap with uterta forceps go anticlockwise because i have stained the entire capsule i can see the capsule even under the opacity now i complete the rexis it has been a very nice rexis in spite of corneal opacity now, hydrodissection is to be done. See how it is done. This is a hard cataract, grade 3 plus or grade 4 nuclear sclerosis. BSS is injected after expressing some visco out. It is injected little bit here. The nucleus is depressed. Little bit injection at another point. And now I try to mobilize the nucleus and see it moves. So in hard cataracts, we have to use little bit of fluid for hydrodissection and do hydrodissection at multiple points. Visco is then injected and now is the time to introduce the tip of the FECO handpiece. In this case, I'm going to use Oatly Cataract 3 FECO machine and I'm going to do direct job. The nuclear mass is impelled by the FECO tip the FECO teeth submerges into the substance of the nucleus and that's why I call it submarine chop. As a submarine submerges into water and moves, it's like that. So the nucleus has been divided into several fragments. FECO power being used at this time is, this is in FECO 2 mode, vacuum that is being used is 450 millimeter of mercury to hold the nuclear mass very firmly. FECO power being used is 70 percent in this case and flow rate is 45. Now each nuclear fragment is being emulsified and removed. Since this corneal opacity inferiorly and since the upper portion is clear, you may be, you may tend to come near the incision superiorly and emulsify it. But don't do that. Be at the center of the anterior chamber because at the center of the anterior chamber, the depth of the anterior chamber is maximum. And if we do all the work there, endothelial damage will be minimal or nil. So the nucleus has been managed. Now viscoelastic substance is injected. Little bit of viscoelastic substance is injected to keep the antechamber formed. And since we have only one side port, we have to use either coaxial irrigation aspiration or with this very simple instrument, Simco cannula. This is a 23 gauge Simco cannula attached to a 10 cc glass syringe. I like glass syringe and in no time the cortex is removed. So
so this is probably faster than bimanual irrigation aspiration and we can manage with only one side port. The width of the side port is about 1.4 to 1.5 millimeter and this is how I implant the intraocular lens. The anterior chamber is kept formed by continuous irrigation and a hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens is being implanted in this case. The trailing haptic has been pushed by the irrigating probe and it has gone into the capsular bag. Both the haptics have taken shelter at the equatorial region of the capsular bag. I go behind the eye well, irrigate some BSS behind the eye well in the anterior chamber to remove whatever little scholastic substance was there in the lumen of the cartridge. Now, little bit of moxifloxacin and the side port, the single side port is hydrated. The main wound will not need any hydration. Dear colleagues, if your wound construction is good, the main incision doesn't require any hydration. And it should not take any hydration. The wound construction should be such. That's it. The final lavage of the antechamber is going on. And now, see how the antechamber is formed. The Simco is here like this and come out. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in developing your skills.